Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're going to do an auction haul. We're going to go through a few of the items from my most recent auction haul. Now, this video might be coming out a little bit later um, because basically recently I've been scheduling so many videos. I've been like a machine doing videos um, and basically, you know, I've just scheduled them out and this one will go on the bottom of the pile. So I apologize to anyone who's been waiting quite a while for this video. If you haven't a clue what I'm talking about in terms terms of the auction haul. Well, basically I did a video a while back now, probably a couple of weeks ago by the time you guys see this, um, of uh, my auction haul overview, my most recent auction haul. If I remember, and I'm absolutely terrible for this, so maybe I won't remember, but if I remember, I'll put a card up there somewhere to that video and you can go over and have a look at that. If I don't do that, and if I don't remember, because I'm prone to forget these things, um, then you can just go on my channel and search, I think the title was like Huge Auction Haul or something, just search that and you'll find it on my channel very, very easily. Um, so yeah, essentially I'm just going to go through a few of that with you today and yeah, let, let's get started. So first off we've got this Dodo Designs and you can see there Dodo Designs, um, just this best T tin and it's got all these military generals on. It looks like a lot of these are sort of, um, you know, early 20th century, century generals. I don't know anything about um, military generals or anything like that. I'm literally just going off the look of these people. They look, ed a lot of these look Edwardian, especially that guy there. So that would kind of pinpoint it around early, of tw early 20th century. Um, so yeah, uh, a lot of these generals look like that sort of time period. And we've got loads of different generals on them. Now, I do know a few of these generals by name, like, you know, some of the names rang a bell. Uh, what was one that rang a bell to me? Oh, this one on the top did. General Batten, B B not Batten, Baden Powell. Baden Powell, is that right? Um, but yeah, a few, of, a few of the names ring a bell. Oh, and Lord Kitchener was on here somewhere. That name rings a bell. Yeah, Lord Kitchener, that one there. The guy who looks really Edwardian. Um, so yeah, anyway, so that's that one. I'm going to put it on for 9 95 plus postage. One has gone for about 9 99 plus post. Um, so yeah, not like an amazing tin, but not as standard as some of the ones you see. So it's still, it's quite a nice little tin there. And Dodo Designs is a good little make to look out for, but Dodo Designs, some of their stuff, some of their tins do go for decent money. So yeah, just uh, look out for that little name there. Dodo Designs, pretty cool. Yeah, I always remember Dodo Designs. So yeah, that's that one there, it's a pretty cool item. Next, we've got possibly the item in this haul I'm most excited about. I've never had anything like this. I know other people have had similar things like this. These are so cool. I don't know what it is. I'm not into nautical stuff whatsoever, really. I, you know, I've never been a fan of ships and all the rest of it, but I just think these are so cool. So, can you see there? I don't know how well you're going to see that there, but it says uh, HMS Terrible, and it says made from the teak of HMS Terrible, and I think it says... Uh, what does it say here? Whose guns relieved Ladysmith. Now, I don't know what that means at all. Someone else will probably tell me. Um, but it says at the bottom there, very, very small writing, whose guns relieved, relieved Ladysmith. Um, so, yeah, this is actually made from, I'm assuming, the hull of... Uh, this ship now. I don't know the age of this. I'm guess. Well, I say I'm guessing. It's definitely over a hundred years old. I, I'm pretty confident on that. It's an antique, and yeah, pretty cool. Really, really cool. And when I got this and I saw it, I was like, wow, that is cool. And it's not just what it is. I mean, it is what it is. You know, it's pretty cool that this. Obviously, it was from a ship that had probably been in battles and all the rest of it. That's pretty cool. But not only that. The name of it, I mean, HMS Terrible. And again, I just put that close to the crap camera, hopefully you can see it. HMS Terrible. What an awesome name. So yeah, I am going to be listing this quite high. Um, when I say quite high, obviously that could mean anything, depending on the item. But I'd say like 25, 30 quid, something like that. It's a really cool item. Um, I, I think it's worth every penny of that. I'm sure someone else will, and I can always come down if if I need if needs be. But yeah, that that is you can just tell by my voice. I'm so happy about it. It's so cool. It's just so cool. And um, yeah, I, I like that item. So yeah, what I really wanted to share that with you. Pretty cool. As I say, I'm not into the whole ships and nautical stuff normally, 
But when I saw this, I was, yeah, all over that. I thought it was so cool. So, yeah, that's that one. So, next, um, we have what I would imagine have been turned. So, these have been turned on a lathe or something like that. I would imagine. I can't be sure. Um, but they look like it. I mean, they're really, really professionally done if they are turned. Uh, my granddad does wood turning and stuff. And he does some really good pieces. But these are really well turned if they have been turned. You can see there's very, very finite little rings all around them. You can see at the top there. And that just really adds to the design. And yeah, they're just really lovely. Now, I don't know the wood that these are made of. Um, it, like, it looks... Like, they might be a little bit too black. I know it, they're probably coming across, like, solid black on camera. But they do look a little bit brown. So, I don't know whether they'll be ebony. Maybe they are ebony. Um, but, yeah, they're either ebony... <sighs> Probably a bit dark for mahogany, but maybe they're mahogany, I'm not sure. Um, but probably one of the two anyway. Um, but yeah, really nice items there. Obviously, I don't know if I showed you, but obviously candlestick holders, if you didn't guess already. Um, and yeah, nice items they are. Um, I think I'll probably charge about 15 quid for them. I've never had anything, I'm just guessing. Um, but generally, with antiques and collectibles... Once you've been doing them for a little bit, you can kind of guess at prices and you can feel it out to a certain degree. So they might be worth a little bit less, a little bit more, but that's what I feel they're, they're worth. And uh, yeah, quite nice looking items. Um, I've got another couple of uh, like sort of carved wooden wooden figures in a minute, which are on a similar vein to these. So I'll show you those in a minute. But yeah, those are those. Next, for those of you who like mining uh, stuff, this is like a little miner, a brass miner, very uh, heavy, solid brass. Um, he's got a there's a little pickaxe here that comes up and down. I don't think it comes out. Oh, no, it does come out. Yeah, it does come out. I didn't think it did come out. Uh, let me put... Oh, God, I'm going to have trouble putting it back in now. There we go. Right. Oh, no, that sounds so wrong, taking out a contest. T context. Don't anyone use that sound bite for anything. That sounded terribly wrong. But, um, yeah. Anyway, um, so nice little miner here. He's on a little base that's kind of been uh, stylized as um, the ground in, I would imagine, like, uh, what are they called? Not a mining cave. What are they called? Damn it, I know what they're called. Um, oh, what are they called? Like, not a pit. A mining... Oh, someone will tell me in the comments. I can't even remember. You know when words just go out your brain? But, um, yeah, so that's quite nice. And I was going to charge 30 quid for this. And I did do a bit of research on this one. I've not done research on everything. I've done research on a few bits and, and not done research on others. Um, but I did do a bit of research on this guy. And it seems like... Um, Basically, I'm not going to be able to get 30 quid for him. I thought I would do. I thought, yeah, I'll probably get 30 quid for this guy. But yeah, some have gone for, well, not necessarily this exact one. Because with antiques and collectibles, it's hard to find the exact one in every circumstance. With certain things, it's quite easy to find the exact one. But with others, it's not. But, um, you know, there's some bigger ones of these that have gone for like 20, 25 quid. There's some smaller ones that, again, are a little bit of a different uh, variation on this one. That have gone for even less than that, like 10, 15 pounds. So... I don't know. I think I'll probably shoot for about 20 quid on that and be done with it. But, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. I mean, the auction, the actual box that this came in, I think it cost, the, the full lot cost me like 15, 20 quid. And it was like two, three boxes worth of stuff. So, it doesn't really matter in terms of profit-wise on, on really any of these items what I go for. As long as I'm not going ridiculously low on them. Um, but, yeah, 20 quid, I'm still going to make good profit. But, it's a shame that obviously, um, you know, it's not worth as much. Also, I don't know what I said, but the entirety of the auction haul, um, in my auction haul video, I did say that I paid £380, and I think it was like 82 pence or something like that, for the entirety of it. And if you go and watch that video, uh, it shows the full auction haul, and it is absolutely huge. It is only a very quick auction, like a very quick overview video, but at least you'll get a bit more of the scale of the haul, because this is just a very quick video with a few different things I've pulled out. So, well, maybe not a very quick video. It might turn out to be about 25, 30 minutes. So, yeah, you might want to grab yourself a cup of tea, actually. But this is only very a very few items of, of what I've got, really. Um, but, yeah, so, yeah, about 20 quid plus post on that one, and I will wait it out on 
that. You know, I'm, I'm not going to go much less than that. I don't want to. I think I'm shooting myself in the foot if I do that. So, yeah, that's that one. Next, I may as well do this because it's on a similar sort of style or very similar style. We've got a little miner's lamp. We've got a uh, coal shovel, or we've just got a shovel, and then we've got a pickaxe here, and we've got little lumps of coal around here. Now, I'm not sure what this would be. I'm guessing just a desk ornament. Seems a little bit big for a paperweight, although you could probably use it for a paperweight. Um, I'm sure there's been bigger paperweights made in the past. Um, but yeah, I'd just say this was like a de desk ornament. And I'm thinking about 14 99 on this. You might think that's a little bit high, um, and I might come down. I might come down to 12 99 but to be honest with things like this, this was probably not another one of these on so if someone comes across it and they want it they're gonna pay the 14.99 so uh yeah so i've just gone for i'll go for 14.99 on that one and uh yeah nice little item there again of mining uh interest there and it is just a nice little item i've not really had anything like it so pretty cool now i wanted to uh show you a couple of figures and i've got my light on here because i wanted to really emphasize the point so hopefully these figures will show up pretty well so we've got this figure here probably uh well it has this one actually looks more asian than anything else but a lot of these figures are done like you know african tourist pieces souvenir pieces etc but this one could be more of an asian figure i'm not sure um but you can see here what i want to draw your eye into is kind of the quality of this figure it's not the most quality figure and obviously you can't touch it or feel it for yourself but it is quite a lightweight figure it doesn't have huge quality behind it right that's the point i'm emphasizing you can see it's been carved there's uh you know there's some nice detailing on it there's some detailing here there etc um but something like this i would be lucky to get especially for this size sometimes you get these sort of style figures but a little bit bigger um but something like this lucky to get a tenner for it really um you know as i say if it was a little bit bigger and you know similar sort of design i might get a little bit more for it uh you know maybe 12 pound 13 pound something like that but generally i wouldn't get a lot for these figures and they do go you know they're, they're not the slowest things in the world they do go but they're not really amazing money but now i want to show you another figure now i've not really had many of these other figures that are a little bit more quality and it's interesting to draw the 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 kind of differences between a slightly lesser quality piece um, and then a slightly more quality piece. So we'll just kind of draw the differences. But you can see almost instantly we've got a lot more detail on this figure. And this figure, I don't know whether that one was varnished or not. It might have a very... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm not too sure whether that's varnished or not. But you can see this one, it looks like it's been varnished. You can see in the light, it uh, kind of the light beams off it a little bit more. And you can see on the face, it's a lot more detailed. We've got wrinkles up here. The hair is really detailed. We've got, obviously, this stomach here, and we've got little details in here. And if you actually look around the entirety of the piece, you can actually see... I don't know whether these were individually carved, like they've, they've carved it individually to give it this sort of almost uh, aesthetic texture in one way. Um, but it really is, like, well done. You can see we've got this... Uh, I don't know what it is actually. I suppose it's a little sack or something on his back, or something to carry a bow or something. I don't. I don't even know. Um, but you can see that it is an incredibly detailed figure, and it's really, really nice. It comes on this little base. It's probably been yeah. It's been carved out of that base. Has been, it's been basically carved around that base essentially. So we've got the feet there as well, and it's a really, really nice figure. And again, you can see the quality compared to let's say this figure here if we put them side by side you can see the difference in quality so you know as i say with these things you're kind of making up a price um with this one as i say lucky to get 10 pound with this one i'm really not sure of a price but i'm thinking of going for about 20 20 pound on this figure quite a nice tall figure i don't know what 30 centimeters ish something like that so what's that in inches like ooh. 12 inches about 12 inches um so that's probably about right so i'm thinking of going for about 20 quid on this one and it and it's interesting just to obviously when you're out and about you see a more quality figure like this see a slightly lesser quality figure like this one you think right well you know we're charging you know three or four pound for this 
I might be able to pay up on this one because, you know, it's slightly more quality or whatever it may be, wherever you're out and about or whatever the prices may be. Um, but yeah, quite interesting that one. And uh, as you can see, that's that figure there. So again, these came in the Yorkshire job lot. This was in an ethnic job lot. Like a, it, it was described as like an ethnic figures job lot and, and you know, loads of other wooden items and stuff. Um, I always do okay with them. Um, generally, I just stick them on and, and they slowly sell for me. So, yeah, that's those two items there. So, next we've got a, uh, I'm guessing an oil painting here. Um, and it's entitled Tabby Charles Van der Eichen. Eichen? I can't pronounce that. Don't know whether you're going to be able to see that there very well. But that's a little plaque there, Tabby. Now, I don't know anything about art. I'm not going to stand uh, stand here. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I know all there is to know about art because I haven't a clue. Um, but when you get these in an auction job lot, generally I just go for a standard price. So, you know, some of them I might go £15 plus postage on, some 20 some 25 some 30 or whatever. Um, now, so I don't know what this is worth. Um, I don't know what I'm going to go for on this one, maybe 20 25 Now, the other option is, um, if you're really not sure on a value of a painting, you can always go down the auction route. So you can auction it off on eBay, um, you know, maybe starting at $14.99 again, you know, $9.99, $19.99, whatever your price may be. And, uh, you know, if you don't get interest in it uh, one cycle round at $19.99, um, then, you know, maybe you can assume it's not worth that much money or it's not worth uh, an amazing sum of money or you can just you know drop the price a little bit and let it go around again um so yeah you know there's also always the auction route if you don't want to undersell something undersell one of these paintings or you can just whack it on uh, buy it now at what you feel comfortable taking um as a profit and obviously as a sales figure and uh, you know if it goes immediately it goes immediately and you know for next time that you've undersold it but there's a couple of ways to go about doing it but personally, I don't think this painting is worth an amazing amount of money. Obviously, I would have to research the artist a little bit more just to uh, maybe help me uh, with my research and my pricing a little bit more. But yeah, still, a little uh, painting there. And uh, it's having a nice little cat. And a lot of people do like cats. So it's obviously, you know, some someone might like that. So yeah, that's that one anywhere there. I'm not going to, as I say, I'm not going to go too far into it because I do not know anything about paintings and stuff. So next we have a Silvac uh, celery jug. Uh, now on a lot of these jugs, uh, when I was working at an auction house, they always used to tell me never to hold it by the handle because you don't know how sturdy this handle is sometimes and then it can break off. So I always hold jugs like this generally. Uh, sometimes I hold them like two hands like this or sometimes I, if I'm whiskey, I do that and some people tell me off on videos for holding things like that. But don't worry, I, I, I can, I can hold a jug I'm all right um so yeah we've got this celery jug and I thought this was worth about 15 pound to be honest it just came to me and I think this was in the Carlton Ware job lot I think I paid about 45 pound plus commission for a large large job lot of Carlton Ware if if I was right that this was in the Carlton Ware job lot and the number on the bottom is 503 uh, yeah 33 it's always good with Sovac because they just put the numbers on there and you just type the number into eBay and it's as simple as that really you can probably see it on there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, you can pretty well, can't you there? 5033. So if you type that number into eBay right now, you'll be able to pull up the search, uh, the solds, completing solds for this. Um, so I was thinking it was worth about 15 quid, you know, I thought maybe 20 quid. Um, but one has actually got, there has been one that's gone for about 15, 20 quid, but one has actually gone quite recently for 25 quid. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna shoot on this one. I'm going to go 25 quid. Uh, not got anything to lose on it, really. So yeah, nice little item that one, um, you know, sell back jugs, there are ones that go for good money, obviously, like, the, I think there's um, some quite nice, like, bird design, bird design mugs that go for quite good money, um, but yeah, that's quite nice, uh, interesting little piece. Um, and it's a little bit better than the more, you know, standard silver pieces that you see. So yeah, 25 quid on that. So pretty happy with that one. You can't have a whole video uh, for me without a bit of fat lava. So yeah, this is fat lava, West German ceramics or West German pottery, whatever you want to say. Uh, we've got two numbers on the bottom here. Um, and one is the pattern number or the design number. Again, I can never remember which one, pattern or design. But to be honest, they're pretty much the same thing. So it doesn't really matter which one you say, to be honest. Um, and then we've got um, dash 20. 
21 there. Is it 21? Yeah. And basically, as I've said numerous times in the past, but for those of you who may be new to my channel and, and maybe haven't heard me ramble about this, um, basically that number there, that 21, is the height of the piece. So if we, well, let me check here. Let's do this live on camera. So if I measure this, should be 21 centimetres. Oh, you can't really see it, can you? But anyway, you're going to have to take my word for it. It's 21 centimetres, pretty much bang on. So, uh, yeah, we basically just printed that on the bottom of the pieces. So you can just look at that and then obviously you know it's 21 centimetres. And I have uh, tested this out numerous occasions on various different pieces to make sure that they are correct. And they are always bang on, like they are always bang on what they say. Uh, and you can see on the bottom there, it just says W Germany. That just stands for West Germany. And and yeah, these were made mainly in the 60s and 70s. They come in really wacky colours. Um, I know that purple and... Not purple and yellow. Uh, yeah, I think it was maybe purple and yellow that were colours that were in quite... You know, a couple of years ago, purple and yellow were in quite a lot. And that those pieces were going for good money. But the colours that are in of these pieces and that make good money change all the time. So you just got to keep up with it, really. You've also got some really nice uh you know pieces like you've got some pieces that look like uh there's one that i saw ages ago piece that looked like a meteorite and that that goes for good money and there's loads of these different other ones i think there's uh moon print there's a uh, fat lava moon print as well that that used to pull some good money i don't know whether that pulls any good money uh, anymore as i say ch taste change and stuff um but there's loads of these different ones of these different variants that that go for good money this as you would probably expect is a pretty standard piece probably about 15 pound plus postage on this one 12.99 14.99 i'd go on this one plus my postage so yeah that's that one there a bit of fat lava so we've got one of these saddler teapots i've had quite a lot of saddler teapots uh, just various different ones to be honest i've not had one like this though uh this looks like a special edition uh saddler uh staffordshire england the duke of wellington and soldiers of the battle of waterloo this one is I don't know what you're going to see that there. I'll just hold it up for a second. Um, and yeah, put a bit of a quirky teapot, this one, with these little... Uh, it's almost like a crown design going around here. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, Battle of Waterloo, depiction of the Battle of Waterloo on there. And then we've got all these different... Well, I'm guessing it's the... Yeah, soldiers. We've got all these different soldiers around there. And yeah, I'm going to go for 20 quid on that one. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. Nice little teapot. Um, and yeah, nice little item there, £20. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So when I saw this, I kind of knew instantly there's going to be some value in this because I've not seen one of these before. And, you know, I've been doing the auctions for a while. Um, and if you haven't seen something, you automatically think, oh, it might be worth some money, you know? Um, because otherwise, I, if it was common, I would have seen it. Like, I, you know, I would have at least seen it occasionally um, at the auction. So because I've not seen it yet, you, you kind of think, oh, it might be worth something. So this is a teacher's house. Highland Cream Perfection of Old Scotch Whiskey. Um, yeah, it's basically just a little, uh, well, what is it? A pectag pentagon, like a pentagonal, pentagonal tray or whatever. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is a five-sided tray. Yeah, I'm probably butchering that anyway. But yeah, you can probably you probably can't see the engraving there very well because of my, my, my light there that I've got on. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. Um, I've seen these go, I think one went as high as like 22, 23 quid. So I was pretty happy on that. So um, I think I'm going to go about 20 quid on that plus postage. There has, I think there's been one that's gone a bit less than that, but I'm just going to go buy it now, uh, 20 pound plus postage on that one. And again, this was just an extra, just a bonus that I found in one of the one of the boxes. So yeah, that was pretty nice uh, to find that in there. So yeah, that's that one. So next we've got something that I thought was worth hardly any money and they turned out to be worth some good money now i've not seen this one on complete and sold so i'm not sure how much this one is but i can give you a guesstimation at least um but i have seen this one on complete and sold so it's like this amari style in one respect or someone described described it as amari style anyway um and it's this cavers wall cavers wall cavers wall um that brand there i have never heard of it never seen it at the auctions before at all um and yeah, Cavers Wall, um, what did it say there? Craftsmanship in Fine Bone China, Romany. So is Romany in Italy? Am I right? I don't know. Um, 24 karat gold. So this the gilt on this or something must be 24 karat. Oh, that was scary. It nearly went then. It near. Oh, God. Oh, God. Anyway. And I was just saying before how I can handle things properly. Anyway, 
So uh, this one is sold, I think even multiple times as well, for £45. Now, this was just in one of the random boxes. Like I must have paid like £15 or £20 for one of those lots. Um, and yeah, that one on its own is like £45 plate. So that's pretty uh, crazy. So yeah, that just again, I'll just show you that brand to be looking out for. Cavers Wall, Cavers Wall or whatever. Um, and then obviously with this one from again the same brand here, the same makers I should say. Um, and it's just a little bit of a variant on that design. It's not got the gilt on there, so obviously it might not be as desirable. But I'm guessing it's still going to be like a £20-25 plate. Obviously I'd have to do a bit more research into that. But as a guesstimation, it's probably going to be around that. Maybe even a little bit more, maybe even touching 30 quid. I just don't think it's going to be the £45 like that other one because obviously of the lack of the, the gilt on it there. So yeah, those were really unexpected. Totally got caught off guard with those, wasn't expecting them. When I did my research, you know, or just before I was doing my research, I was thinking, oh, yeah, I'll probably get, you know, £20 for the two or something. Uh, but, yeah, it's probably going to be more like £70 for the two or something like that. So, yeah, really, really happy on them ones. And I would have been more than happy even at 20 quid on the two, and I would have made my profit on them. But, um, you know, at £70 for the two, that's just brilliant, really. So, yeah, that's those two there. And finally, why don't we finish on um, a pair of items from a period that I really do uh, admire and I really do love. And that is obviously the Art Deco period, so 20s and 30s. And you can see that this is clearly straight away, we've got that Art Deco style in there. And it's obviously been hand-painted, it's burly wear. Um, I've had burly wear quite a lot, that is the maker's mark there. Obviously the maker's mark changes um, over the years, so it might look a little bit different on certain pieces, but that's the maker's mark on this piece here. And we've also got this um, unique mark here to reference the style of this piece, which is pan. Um, and yeah, these are really, really nice. Again, I think these came in the £45 Carlton wear job lot. Brilliant uh, little items these are, I have to say. And and obviously because they do look so Art Deco, uh, I really did love them. You know, I really did fall in love with them. So you can see on here, there's the guy playing, I don't know, is it little pipes or something? I don't know. Oh, he might be playing the pan pipes. Maybe that's why it's called pan. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I'm just making an assumption, it's probably wrong. Um, but yeah, really, really nice on those. And um, I've gone quite high on these, so I might have to reduce my price a little bit. I'm not sure, I might might have to. Um, but I saw that some of these were going for good money. They were going, like, not... Uh, sorry, this is a milk jug and this is a sugar bowl, by the way, just if you weren't aware. Um, and I saw that, like, the plates and stuff, some of the plates were going for really good money and, and like, I think... I don't know, I think it was a teapot that went for really good money as well, like 30, 40 quid or something, I don't know. Um, but I thought to myself, why? Well, I think it was like, yeah, I think it was like 40 quid or something, the teapot. You'd have to go and check yourself. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking on these two, you know, probably, I'd definitely get 20 quid, because actually this one, uh, Milk Jug on its own, had gone on auction for 18 quid plus postage, so I knew I could definitely get 20 quid. But I thought to myself, well, I may as well push the boat out a little bit and try for 30 quid plus postage. Um, but yeah, we'll see on those ones. I might have to reduce the price a little bit further and maybe they'll sell at 20 or 25 pound But yeah, lovely little items to finish on those and again, I'll just hold it to the camera one more time Lovely little item and again in that uh, very uh, easy to 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 notice that it's a, an art deco piece there so yeah i'll leave it there for this whole video guys we're just coming up to 30 minutes uh sorry if i rambled a lot i was trying to really give you as much information as i could even though i'm not you know any amazing person with antiques or collectibles i wanted to dispense as much information as i have um and yeah hopefully you got something out of this video if you did then please do give it a like down below if you haven't already then please do subscribe to the channel and yeah if you've got any comments questions or queries then please do drop them in the comments down below i will try and read and get back to as many comments as i can I do try and do that as often as I can, but sometimes I just forget to respond to X amount of comments or I've just simply not got the time to respond to comments. So yeah, I'll try and, and do that to as many people as I can. I'll try and respond to as many other people as I can. And I will leave it there. So I will see you in the next one, guys.